We can compare blood-brain barrier to city walls. In city walls, there are doors to exchange goods and people. We and other laboratories around the world, we try to discover these doors in the blood-brain barrier. Our particular approach is to use peptides. Peptides are small proteins. And we try to discover peptides able to cross these doors in a very efficient way. And then to use these peptides to bring to the brain drugs. In 2015, we have published three papers that, in our opinion, are important in this field. In 2015, we have designed and tested two families of peptide shuttles. The first is called THR Retronantio, and it's a family of protease-resistant peptides that last more than 24 hours in the serum, and they have the capacity to, make, uh, to cross cargos of different types and sizes across the barrier. The other family, that is called miniapamines, it's derived from apamine, a neurotoxin found in bivenon, and we have modified to make it uh, less complex, uh, to avoid the toxicity and the immunogenicity, and to prove that we can carry things across the barrier using these shuttles. We have really promising results and that's why we are really optimistic in the capacity of these peptides to make drugs able to reach the central nervous system. We have recently started a collaboration with Hospital San Juan de Deu to treat a rare pediatric brain tumor. We are using two approaches. The first one will consist in the modification of a drug that we know that works with our shuttle. And the second one will include the incorporation of the drug inside a nanoparticle and modify it with our shuttle. We also want to try these two approaches in Frederick Ataxia. Soon, we will know if these two different approaches work in animal models.